We're going to do today a Q&A slash assumptions get ready with me video or a get to know me kind of get ready with me video. I put on my Instagram stories and also on my community page here on YouTube the other day uh, and asked you guys if you had any questions or assumptions or anything like that for me and a lot of you came through so thank you so so much. So yeah it's just really going to be me putting on makeup and talking about myself really so hopefully that sounds interesting to you. If it does let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Like uh, pretty much most videos on my channel these days, this will be a long one so settle on in. I'm also not going to talk about all of the makeup etc that I'm putting on my face because we'll be here for even longer but it will all be linked in the description box below for you. So if you want to know what I'm using it is down there. We have hit over 4k of subscribers. <sighs> Mind blown. I actually can't believe. I say it every time I hit any form of a... I, like landmark of a subscriber goal or anything like that and I'm just like I can't believe anyone wants to watch me because I feel like I must be the most annoying person to watch because I'm just so a lot of the time scatterbrained I'm brutally honest a lot of the time and just I don't know I feel like I'm a bit of a weirdo so I always get really surprised that generally anyone wants to watch me at all <laughs> um, but thank you, truly, any of you, if you support my channel in any way, shape or form, I just, you have no idea how much your support means to me, truly, because I love doing this, I love makeup, I love everything about YouTube, I really love it, so it means more to me than you will ever know that you support me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. From the general consensus, we, we do have, I'm using this palette by the way, um, we do have quite a few new friends here on the channel and I'm getting the sense that most of you just really want to know more about me in general. So what I'll do is I'll go through all of the questions etc and then um, anything to, to cover off on I will, I'll just give you a little bit of a general overview of things maybe I think you would want to know etc because a lot of you are just like I just don't know anything about you who are you what are you doing <laughs> etc which is which is fair I guess something that maybe you should know about me that uh, might not be obvious probably is obvious I'm quite a private person uh, intentionally and unintentionally I am quite shy I probably don't seem like I am and if you were to meet me I have resting bitch face. A lot of the time, like even when I was a teenager, people thought I was really cold, etc. But it's just because I've got social anxiety and I'm shitting myself nine times out of ten, to be honest with you. Um, I do have an original or like a, I have a get ready with me Q&A kind of video on my channel already. So I'll link that down below as well if you haven't seen it in case there was a lot, more, a lot of questions on that video. If you want to check that one out as well. So I'm private because I'm shy and I don't really think that you would care to know who I am kind of thing. I know that sounds really weird, but I never want to like force myself on anyone or assume that people kind of want to know those kind of details about me, I guess. So I just, yeah, I don't really talk about it. Um, but I am conscious of being like a, keeping a little bit to myself, even though I'm not a huge YouTuber, I am conscious of keeping a little bit to myself just because it is the internet, etc. And you know, while I haven't experienced it yet, I've experienced it on a very small scale. Thank the Lord that it's only been a small scale. You know, it's uninvitable or ininvitable, whichever word you want to use there, that the bigger you get, the more hate you will get. And I guess the more you open up your life, the more you invite that in or like on certain things. So I really do just like to keep it mostly focused on makeup with a little bit of me. You know what I mean? Um, just because, honestly, getting hate on the internet terrifies the ever-loving crap out of me. <laughs> I'm getting more and more used to it, um, but it does terrify the, the ever-loving crap out of me. A lot of you asked what I do for work. Uh, I, I'm not going to say who I work for. I'm not really going to give a lot away, a lot away, um, because I, again, not to, not to toot my own horn or anything like that, but I am, I have a high ish position in the company that I work for and you know that comes with certain expectations reputations etc so and I deal with a lot of large companies mining companies etc and I am conscious of that so I, I deal with a lot of different clients and important you know companies etc so 
I, um, I'm not going to disclose too much about it, to be honest with you. Uh, basically, I do work in travel. I work in corporate travel, not so much. I don't book travel myself. That's not my role, but I work in that industry. I have booked travel. I've been a travel agent before, actually, as a fun fact. Was actually my favorite job I've ever had. Just the pay was disgustingly terrible. Essentially, what I do is I manage an entire business that books like corporate travel, essentially, um, in emergency situations, etc. So yeah, but I, I don't book it or anything like that. I just, I, I'm the one that runs it all. Yeah, I work full time. This is like my relaxation time. <laughs> um, my job is stressful. My job is stressful. I don't, I, it's like stress all day, every day. So I do this for fun. I don't know how I fit it all in in a day. To be honest, I actually don't know how I fit YouTube in along with my job. Um, but I do somehow, which is good. Because if I didn't have YouTube, I honestly think I would struggle. It's not that I hate my job, I don't. But it's so incredibly stressful. I couldn't just have my job without something, or like a hobby or out something else to focus on outside of it because it would just be too much for me. It's just too stressful of a job. Some of you asked, or like some of you did the assumption or asked like, what are my intentions with my channel? Or like, I wanna be a full-time, I would quit my job and do full-time YouTube. Um, yeah, so my, my intentions with my channel is definitely to do this full time. This is my passion. I love makeup and YouTube that much, but especially makeup. I just can't tell you how much I love it. I just love it. Nothing makes me happier in the entire world. I love getting to connect with you guys and talk to you guys. So yeah, I would love to do this full time. My whole kind of philosophy with my channel is really just to <laughs> inspire makeup lovers and just show my love of makeup. Um, it definitely morphs as time goes on, not even consciously, I think, just organically, which is nice. I kind of started off in like 2018. Yeah, 2018, I started my channel. I've been doing Instagram since 2017 or 16, I think. And then in 2017, uh, 2018, I did my first YouTubes, which please don't go back and watch them. They're horrific. I should private them, but anyway, um, that was the Victoria Beckham in Mink, if you're wondering. I honestly, back then I was just trying to be like Laura Lee and Kristen Dominique, etc., because that's who I looked up to at the time, etc. And it wasn't right. It wasn't organic. And I, my job took over as well. Like I just got really too busy. And so I had to stop. And I stopped like Instagram and YouTube and everything for like a good year. And then the pandemic hit and I, like we got forced to drop out, like everyone, right? Like you got forced to drop hours at work because it was a pandemic. Never left the house, right? We were in lockdown. So I had nothing but time on my hands and was like, well, I'm going to do makeup again. And it felt like it was meant to be. It felt like the universe drove me back to YouTube and makeup, which is like just incredible. So I got to do YouTube again and basically have done it regularly and consistently ever since. And when I first started, I guess it was like, yeah, same thing. It's just, it just takes time. Like the biggest tip for YouTube that anyone can give is just be yourself and find the content that brings you the most joy and do that because people will get attracted to, like people follow you for you more so than your content generally and even like not so much in the start St at the start you kind of need to find content that will draw people into you because at the start like youtube doesn't just like pump out your video you have to figure out like what kind of video is going to get you seen by people and then once you start building that kind of um like following up that's when you can really start morphing your content not necessarily morphing because you want to be doing something authentic in the first place, but that's really where you can start like honing in on like the things that make you the most happy to film and like what your audience seems to love. I like to do a balance of both, but generally I do what I want <laughs> because this is not my full-time job. So I do like to make sure that I'm having fun while I'm doing it. Um, and it's more authentic if I'm filming something that I don't want to film. 
how boring is that going to be for you guys to watch because you're going to see right through it. But yeah, my content's definitely morphed. At the start, it was just kind of like me trying to figure out like what I could do. I kind of used to only think that like you had to do new reviews and that was it. I don't like, I just don't know why. I just kind of thought that. And then I was kind of like, this really doesn't really bring me a lot of joy. <laughs> I don't really enjoy just reviewing products. Um, I do. I like, I love trying new makeup, but I just really, one, I couldn't afford to like keep buying every new makeup release. I still can't. Um, look how black my under eyes are today. Is that not just ridiculous? Um, I swear they just get darker and darker every day. What a joke. Um, yeah, I just, I, you know, I can't afford to buy every new makeup release, but then I, for a bit there, I got really caught up in it. Even last year, I got quite caught up in like trying to, I think I was like looking at like Morgan Turner and Patty Alonzo, etc., and just thinking like, oh my goodness, I need to be like these guys and like how they get, you know, views is like by reviewing all the new releases. So I'm going to do that, etc. And then I just was like, I got to a point where I had so much makeup and I wasn't using it. Then it was really bothering me because like I love especially if I bought a product and I really liked it, like I just like to really use it. So I've really, in the second half of last year and this year, especially I have honestly, it probably seems like I have, but I really haven't bought that much makeup this year, especially compared to last year. I've really just tried to slow down and just focus on my love of makeup and my love of putting makeup on because I've noticed this year that I don't know if you guys feel this way and this isn't no shade or anything to anybody it's just more so my preference of a video but it feels like no one does a video where they just kind of put makeup on anymore like it just feels like everyone always is doing a video to be like oh my these are my recommendations or um this is a new product or they're doing a weird kind of challenge or it's like my top 10 of this or blah, blah, blah. And like, I do enjoy those videos, especially when say like, I want to buy a new cream blush or something, or I want to buy a new product or something and I want to watch the review. But I just like to see people kind of do makeup tutorials or get ready with me's or teach me a technique. Like I, I have watched nearly every single Andrea Ali video and every single Hong Van Gogh video and every single Patrick Dahl video etc. because I just learn so much from them. Same with like Alexandra O'Neill, etc. I noticed that like this year in particular it feels there just hasn't been a lot of that kind of content out there. And again, no shade or hate or anything like that. Maybe I'm just not following the right people. I don't know. But yeah, I just kind of was I've just focused now on creating the content that I want to watch almost. And honestly the thing that brings me the most joy is putting on a face of makeup. So I just kind of constantly find ways to try and make that interesting for you guys and hope, hope that it is. And then also only focus on buying makeup releases that truly bring me joy and I truly want to try and not just, oh, I've got to get this new release to try for YouTube kind of thing. So that's kind of been the way that my content is going. And then I also like, obviously I had all this makeup and I, I have all this makeup and I was like, well, all of this makeup is like really beautiful and like really deserves a moment like to be used and treasured, etc. And if I'm not going to use or treasure it, what the hell am I doing here? And then I was kind of thinking like, well, if I feel this way, surely a lot of people feel this way. And like, <laughs> I always remember when I would watch like, YouTubers talk about new palettes and stuff and this is not one youtuber in specific just generally Like over the time I'd always see them use like one palette or a palette and then never use it again And they'd be like, oh my god, this is amazing You need it and like they would do a favorites video or something with it in it But then like I'd actually never see them use it again and I'd be like, okay, cool Like especially when I was starting out and learning makeup. I was like, okay, cool, but like <laughs> what do I do with this palette now that I have it? Like you've done this one look and that looks great, but what else can I do with it? And so that kind of inspired me to just really do, I guess it's just a lot of shot my stashes and stuff like that, right? But like I try and find different ways. And then like, I obviously discovered Pat McGrath and I love her. And I was like, wow, these palettes are amazing, but man, these palettes are expensive. And then I was like, well, if we've paid this much money for them, I really want people to use them. I don't want anyone to buy this palette and then like just sit there because they're so beautiful. They need to be used, etc. So now my philosophy is to just like inspire everyone, like whoever vibes with me to just have fun with makeup, get use out of their makeup, not feel intimidated or afraid 
to use the makeup in their collection um, and to see if I can like help them in any way to get more use out of their makeup because I know that so many people like me, whether they have a YouTube channel or not, um, buys as much makeup as me probably because it's such a big thing and it's also just fun like I don't buy anything else I don't know about you guys but like makeup's my vice and that's pretty much it like my clothes are usually from Kmart like I don't really mind I was like well I want to make sure that other people are feeling inspired as well to use their collections and not feel like they bought something and it was like okay cool these people told me to buy it but then like now what do I do with it this is a really long-winded answer of like my channel and where it's going etc but basically I just want it to keep going the way that it is I just want to empower people to feel beautiful and use their makeup and have fun with it and not be scared of it and not be scared to like wear whatever makeup look they want to wear out because I know sometimes that can be intimidating depending on where you live, etc. And just meet friends and have a good old time. Does that answer the question? Hopefully. Someone asked, how do I fit YouTube around work and like family life? Mm, not very well. Um, I don't really have much of a life. My friends definitely would get frustrated with me because I mean, they don't, they're very supportive. I'm very blessed to have a supportive group of people around me. To be fair, if they weren't, they wouldn't be in my life. I'm a Capricorn, if that helps. And I'm quite a, uh, I'm quite a Capricorn. <laughs> I kind of follow that typical Capricorn trend. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have a life. But then this is my fun. So for me, this is my life. But I definitely do need to find a more balance. I definitely run myself ragged constantly. Also, you guys are amazing because so many of you just commented saying, I just think you're amazing and I love your content, etc." And that makes my day and I appreciate you more than you could ever know. And thank you truly from the bottom of my heart, like honestly. Will you do your own makeup for your wedding? <laughs> yeah, there's just no way I could ever sit there. Unless I had like a trial and I guess trusted them, which I guess is the point, but no, I'll just do it myself. If you could have anyone do your makeup, who would you ask? My makeup by Mario. Hands down. I will, my life goal almost is to have makeup by Mario do my makeup one day. If I was like ever got big enough on YouTube to have makeup by Mario do my makeup, you will see me if that ever became a video or if he ever did it, you would see me just sobbing the whole time. He'd get so annoyed with me because I would just sob because he is just my idol. Makeup by Mario. I just, oh, him and Hong Van Gogh, I've got to be honest, I just, the talent, the talent, I know, like, I have makeup artists that I really, truly love and adore, like Andrea Ali, she seems like a sweetheart, I'd probably cry if I met her too, to be fair, um, but, like, I don't know what it is, makeup by Mario's makeup style, when I, it's not even about the Kardashians or anything, but I, when I watch him do makeup, it just seems like it would, it's just me, and I just, he's just an absolute artist, makeup by Mario, I would die, I would die. Jin wants to know what's the update on my wigs, I feel a lot more confident, if you don't know, if you're new around here, I suffer from hair loss, so I wear alternative hair, uh, I used to wear toppers, which I have a video about that on my channel if you're interested, but I moved to wigs this year, and my lord... <laughs> The learning curve that comes with wigs. My lord. <laughs> um, but I feel I do, and I know you guys have seen it, which always makes me so, laugh so hard because I'm, I sometimes just think I'm being sneaky and I'm like, oh, they won't notice. You guys notice everything. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel more confident in them now. I've tried like so many different products, techniques, styles, etc. And I feel like I've almost, I'm still learning, but I feel a lot more confident. Like I've been out, out with them on like three or four times now I don't leave my house a lot you guys so that's a lot of time for me um I sound like a hermit I guess I am a hermit I work from home so you know um but yeah I've been out with them a lot more lately and I feel a lot more confident in them and yeah I'm excited I actually am excited to try and play and just have some fun with them now and get different colors and styles etc but yeah I feel a lot better with them I found like the kind of products and styles that work for me still a lot to learn and I'm sure they don't look super natural but I feel like I'm doing okay thank you for all the love truly it's it's really so kind um, a couple of you asked like what other hobbies I have I don't have time for hobbies <laughs> I truly don't have time for hobbies you guys I really don't um, if I so pretend like I did YouTube full time or I only had one job full time instead of two full time jobs, because that's something I don't think people quite realize is the uh, the time that YouTube takes. 
like each video that I put up is a minimum of eight hours work behind that video. So yeah, it's, it's tough. So I don't really have time to, um, do anything else, but, um, I like to read, oh, travel, travel is a huge one. Uh, I always, especially like the last couple of years has been like a massive struggle for me without travel because travel is definitely something that I, um, that's, that would be my biggest passion and hobby outside of makeup. Uh, what else? Reading. I go to the gym a lot, but that's not really a hobby. I do that out of because I have a slow metabolism. I was just watching uh, Angie Nyquist and Samantha March's like Q&A together. And Angie was talking about how she hasn't worked out in five years. And then basically it sounds like she eats whatever she wants. And she looks like she does. And I was just sitting there cursing her name because I was like, mate, I look at a piece of anything like say a donut I'll look at it and I'll gain a kilo just from looking at it no joke and I go to the gym five to six times a week and I eat healthy and my just body hates me <laughs> so anyway one of you guys asked if I have any pets I have two cats one's named Ralph one's named Kingston if you follow me on Instagram I usually put quite a bit of them on there but in my Natasha Denona ranking, you saw Kingston, he kind of popped up. A lot of you guys always ask where I get my headbands on, uh, headbands from, which is so funny because I always sit there going, God, I must look like an idiot with these headbands on. Um, I get them from Shein, which I understand is not great. Like I try not to buy from Shein, but there's just some things that like you can get it from Shein and like it costs very little or you can get the exact same product somewhere else for like triple the cost. So... Look, I'm not rich, so I get them from Shein. And they have so many on there, it's ridiculous. What drugstore lines, if any, have you found that come close to the quality of Pat McGrath? Maybe show some comparisons. Mm, none. Are we talking eyeshadows? Literally zero. Maybe Colourpop. The Super Shock, like, glittery shades from Colourpop? Maybe, but I don't own any of them. But back in the day, I used to. Colourpop would probably be the only one. If any of you have any comparisons from drugstore eyeshadows with Pat, um, pop them down in the comments below, because yeah, sorry, no, nah, I don't know. I, I've got to be honest, I know I sound snobby when I say this, I don't mean to be at all, because I, I think that drugstore makeup is, is lovely, truly. Um, I'm just a luxury makeup person, that's all. It's just, I used to try and get into a lot of drugstore makeup, and to be honest, I found that I was just buying all this like cheap makeup because it was cheaper and I was like, oh, I can afford like, you know, all of this. And then I wouldn't like any of it or I would like just one of it and it would sit here and it would go to waste or whatever. Cause I do still find, well, most makeup, but I found drugstore makeup in particular was quite hit or miss. And so I ended up spending just as much money on like all this crap that I didn't need instead of just buying like one product or something that I really, really wanted that was going to bring me a lot of joy in a different kind of way. And so I stopped buying a lot of drugstore makeup. There is some that I, I really like trying drugstore foundations and concealers um, and even powders. I find that drugstore complexion products generally nine times out of 10 will almost work better for me than high end because they don't put a lot of, like drugstore doesn't put a lot of frills in. So, which is great for someone like me with sensitive skin. They don't usually put fragrance and stuff in their complexion products. And so, um, the drugstore complexion products don't usually break me out, whereas like a lot of high-end like foundations, etc., will put a lot of fragrance or like coconut and stuff in their complexion products. And that's just gonna make me break out to all buggery. So yeah, I do like a lot of drugstore like foundations and concealers, etc., but not so much eyeshadows and other things. I don't buy a hell of a lot. What brand would be your dream collab and who wouldn't you want to collab with? Great question. Oh, I need to do my brows. Um, I Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath for sure. But outside of Pat, probably who would I want to collab with? Victoria Beckham or Makeup by Mario. They would be my top three. I really like those three brands. They're probably my three favorite brands to be fair. Um, and then I can't remember what I said in my first Get Ready With Me because I know one of you asked that in my first Get Ready With Me. I would have said Pat. I would not collab with Too Faced. I do not like that brand owner for some, like, I just don't, yeah, they've done some stuff. I wouldn't collab with, at the moment, I wouldn't collab with ABH. I don't really know what's going on all there, but allegedly the CEO is pro-Putin and I'm, I'm not here for that. I'm just going to go ahead and say if you're pro-Putin, I'm not the channel for you. 
let's not be friends. One of you asked what job I have, which I've kind of covered off on. Are you in a relationship? Do you have kids? What state do you live in? So, uh, no, no kids. I don't think, I'm not sure if I'll have kids, to be honest. It's not something that's kicked in for me yet. I don't have that urge. And right now it's absolutely the last thing that I would want to do, like no hate or shame or anything to anyone that has kids. It's just not for me right now, specifically. Um, or I don't know if ever. I am in a relationship. I'm engaged. His name is Shane. A couple of you have asked, I think, like if you could see more of him. He's a private person. He doesn't really want to be online and I'm respectful of that. If he ever wants to be, like he, he has said he'll do like a him doing my makeup video or him picking like a full face of makeup like out of my collection for me or something. So we might do that so that you guys can see him and meet him a little bit. Um, but he is a private person and he's also someone that has like a professional career, etc. So I'm mindful of like putting him online. If you go burying through my Instagram, there's a photo of us on there somewhere. And I live in Queensland, which is in my opinion, the best state in Australia to live in. <laughs> My New South Wales people are going to be like, no, it's not. Um, but more so for the weather. I just, I really enjoy the Queensland weather. Now I'm going to into Instagram. Now a couple of assumptions was you're going to have a small intimate wedding. No, kind of. I'm, I'm going to elope. Um, I don't want to have a wedding. I know I've kind of been talking about that in videos like doing my makeup like for my for weddings and stuff. And you've probably got the impression that I will have a wedding. But no, I will elope. I I don't want to have a wedding. It's too stressful for me. I'm not someone that's ever fantasized about their wedding day. Again, no hate or shame to anyone that has. It's just not for me. I don't like being the center of attention. I'm a massive introvert. So is my fiance. Um, <laughs> honestly, being having a wedding day and being the center of attention like that is quite literally our idea of a nightmare. We just cannot. We, no, no. It makes me like sweat even just thinking about it. You quit your job to do full-time YouTube. Yeah. What better job is there in the world for a makeup lover, truly? Um, Pat McGrath is one of your favorite brands. You know a girl? Well, she is, yes. But like, I'm going to need her to start picking her game up because I'm not about impressed lately. Uh, I wear makeup every single day. Nope. <laughs> I really don't. I really, really don't. I used to when I worked in the office, but now that I work from home, I try and actually do it most days. I find my skin behaves a lot better if I um, wear makeup. I find it doesn't get as many breakouts. I know that's weird, but I do. So I do try to, but I do like to be, I'm not someone that feels, I'm not, and again, no hate or shame if you feel this way, but I'm definitely not someone that needs to wear makeup to be confident. Like I go out on date nights and stuff sometimes to the dinner and stuff and I've got no makeup on cause I just couldn't be bothered. Cause like once it gets to nighttime, I'm like an early, but like early to bed kind of person. So once it gets to nighttime and I'm, if I go to dinner or the movies and I'm like, oh yeah, but when I get home, I'm going to take my makeup off. I'm like, oh, I'm just not going to wear it. So I'm happy to go bare face. It doesn't bother me. Um, but I, I do like to wear makeup as much as I can. I actually like the art of, I like the process of putting makeup on more than I like wearing the actual makeup. Like it's like when I bake cupcakes or something, I like the baking of the cupcake. And then once I've baked it, I don't even want one. I'm like, okay, I'm done with this now. I don't know what it is. I like the process of doing things more so than the, the end result. Brooke is so funny. Brooke's like, how are you so great? Um, just a legend. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, why are my eyes so blue? I don't know. I don't know, Moni. Um, what is the best gift you've ever received? That's a tough question. Hermes, lip, Hermes makeup. <laughs> uh, my, my engagement ring. Actually, my engagement ring, for sure. And also, I had horses growing up. And my very first pony that I was given when I was a kid, that was the best gift I've ever received as well. For sure. Assumption your best friend is a legend. Yeah, she's all right. Depends on the day. <laughs> um, if you could visit one city for the rest of your life, which city would you choose? Oh, oh that's tough. Um, Vegas. Las Vegas, for sure. Because it kind of has everything I need there. And it's like, I was thinking about water, like, cause I was like, oh, LA would be good cause it's near the beach, but I don't like the beach. <laughs> I like walking along the beach and being near the beach, but I don't like the beach. But 
Vegas has like pools and stuff, like the casinos have pools and I'm more about that life. And then it has all of the good shopping and then it has shows and like artists come, it has all good restaurants and then it's got like the desert and you know, some of my favorite YouTubers live there. <laughs> we could just be besties. Um, yeah, Vegas for sure. And then someone else actually asked on YouTube, sorry, um, what is a country I want to visit? I want to go to the Greek islands really badly. I want to go to Greek islands. If you could never wear comfy house clothes again or never wear makeup again, which would you choose? That's brutal. Mmm. Far out. <laughs> comfy house clothes or never wear makeup. Never wear makeup. Um. I guess house clothes, because I just can't live without makeup, right? I mean, I, you know, I could, like, I'm not that vain, but, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess, I guess comfy house clothes. If I have to choose, if you're going to be that horrible to me and make me choose. Have you had lip fillers? Or are your lips naturally amazing? Well, thank, thank you. Uh, no, I haven't had lip fillers, actually. This is uh, just me. These are my natural lips. I find that um, if, I mean, I'm, I am aware that I'm blessed in the lip department, um, to be fair. And actually, let me put this on before I stab myself in the eye. No, no lip fillers, all natural. I don't like needles. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do the lip fillers. I've done Botox, but they're so pinprick, like you can't feel them. But the lip filler needle looks terrifying, but I don't need them. Um, but no, you can actually see when I gain weight, they don't look as full. And then I'm losing weight at the moment. And um, the more weight I lose, the bigger they get. So that's why they probably look fluctuating, if you're wondering. Let me quickly finish my lip. Alrighty, well, this is the finished look, if you're wondering. I really like it. And now I feel like I need to go out to dinner tonight because I just feel, I'm feeling myself in this look, to be honest. I use mostly Victoria ba Beckham makeup, like all the products that I had in the review, which should already be up. Uh, and it's just continuous, continually, continuously, constantly, amazing me. It's just so beautiful. I hope you feel like you have gotten to know me a little bit better. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below. Also, if you've gotten to this point, you're a real one, a real one, because I'm sure I was very annoying. And two, let me know what uh, city, what city do you want to travel to if money wasn't an issue and someone said to you, okay, we can just teleport to that city and we can check it out. What is the city that you want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. That would be really interesting. And if you've made it to this point, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.